Thank you for joining me for an overview of Dynamics NAV 2015 Sales Orders with Order Promising. NAV 2015 gives the user a roles-based interface which allows quick access to all of the lists, entry forms, and reports required by the user. To enter a new sales order, I simply click Sales Order in the ribbon. The sales order number is generated from the number series. Multiple series can be defined to allow tracking for different types of orders. Uh, pressing the Enter key on the number will simply uh, provide me with the next number in the default series. So that's what I'm going to do. NAV makes it really easy for me to find my customer. If I click the lookup, I can filter and search um, based on any uh, of the, the columns that I can see here. So I can say, um, only show me where the customer number is 10,000, for example. And I just click OK to bring that into my order. Um, I could also just start typing the, the customer name. So if I type the C, it's going to know that this is the Canon Group. Um, so, and what it's giving me here is uh, my credit check. And so it's telling me that the customer has an overdue balance. Do I still want to go ahead and enter the order? And I'm just going to say yes. And then we're going to jump over to this requested delivery date field. And I'm going to go ahead, uh, the customer has requested a delivery date of 2-10-2016. So I'm going to go ahead and, and enter that in. Um, as well as the customer's purchase order number. Now you'll notice after I entered the sell to customer number, um, I got some additional information about this customer here um, in this uh, fact box. I can see that I, there are actually two open sales orders for this customer and I could drill in and view those if I wanted. Um, posted shipments, outstanding returns, etc. So a lot of information available to me right here on the main screen. So if I scroll down and look at the lines now, we want to enter an inventory item and the lookup capabilities are exactly the same as with the customer. I know that I want to uh, sell a basic mouse, so the customer wants a basic mouse, so I'm just gonna type basic and tab off the field and you can see it's pulled in all of the information for that particular item. Um, the customer is ordering 10 and so now I can see when I, when I entered in the item number, I have information about the item. I can see that there are zero uh, currently in inventory. So I know that when I tab off this quantity line, it is going to um, check availability for me, notify me that I have zero available inventory, and it's actually even going to tell me the earliest time when that inventory is available. And that's based on either purchase orders for purchased items or um, manufacturing dates for manufactured um, for production orders. So I'm going to go ahead and just click yes because I'm going to uh, go ahead. I want to go ahead and enter this order even though I don't have enough and you can see my availability now has gone to, to negative 10 um, because I have recorded that line. Now, one thing that is important to know is when I record my lines, it's filling in these delivery dates, these plan dates, so plan shipment date and plan delivery date based on the date that I enter in the header. So remember that we entered in our requested delivery date of 210. And on this customer, I have defined that it takes two days for an order to get to them. So the system has automatically calculated this planned shipment date for me. Well, I want to have this information updated based on um, the purchase orders that are outstanding. So I'm going to come up here to Order Promising, keeping in mind that um, I'm going to use Available to Promise because this is a purchased item. If it was a produced item, I would use Capable to Promise. Um, but we're going to use Available to Promise, so I'm just going to click Available to Promise, and you can see it's filled in for this line for this customer the earliest shipment date and the planned delivery date. Again, calculated based on that two-day shipping time um, that I've recorded on my customer. 
The idea here is that I can communicate this information to my customer and you can see that it's actually updated the lines for me so that when I generate my order for the customer, that information I, uh, can be easily communicated to them through a, a confirmation or verbally. So my order is now complete um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click OK to, or click close to close out of the order. Now, um, all of the statuses of uh, my orders can be kept uh, track of using these queues here. Um, and so if I click on my open sales orders, I should see my Canon Group order here and I can open it and review it if I choose to. So this concludes the overview of NAV 2015 sales orders with order promising.